Get his bolted. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Episode 8. Episode 8. Wait, 8 episodes in. And every single episode Wayne and Holly has been in, what has been Wayne's most biggest complaint? He's had two, but one's done more than others. That was me give you a couple of seconds to type in before I tell you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now I'm going to tell you. Safety. Talking about, I don't want to move here or live here because South Africa is not safe. And I actually, to, to be fair, both can come together. And I do not want you to be dressing like a hooker. Yes, because in SA, men will get the wrong idea and that will jeopardize your safety. Those are the two main things he's been talking about, okay? The way she looks and the safety, right? But then he decides to just leave her stranded. Can somebody make sense to that, please? How do you leave someone stranded or boat away or leave someone that you love and you want to be with all by themselves in some random neighborhood where they don't know where the hell they are, okay? But you've been complaining about her safety this whole time. Now, I know what people are thinking. The camera crew's there, so of course she's fine, you know what I mean? But I know this happened before. When it came to Mahmood and, and Nicole in the other season, people were like, yeah, but the camera people were there, so technically didn't, you know, abandon her or leave her, all that kind of stuff. That is not the point. That is far from the point. Because the matter of the fact is, if you can behave like this on camera, who's to say that you wouldn't do it off camera? That is always the question. So as far as I'm concerned, in, in, just because the camera crew is there, it doesn't mean that you just leave the person that you love and want to be with stranded. Because in reality, the reason why you're with this person is because you want to protect them. Especially if you've been warning them about all these warning signs. And he's been doing it the whole time. So much, he insulted her freaking image. An image that technically she still hasn't changed, which is quite funny to be fair with you. It kind of felt like that stress went nowhere for him, you know what I mean? But uh, Wayne be Wayne, because Wayne only thinks about who? Wayne. I don't know what that was. What kind of person would leave a fiance like stuck in the middle of nowhere? And also, quote unquote, and, and also just to quote Wayne, dressed like a hooker. <laughs> I can mind my contradict himself in, in, in one whole one whole scene. This is the opening scene of episode eight, and he's contradicting himself already both ways. You know what I mean? Leaves are stranded in a stranded in a, in, a, in a country or area that is unsafe. Because remember, he said even the gated communities are unsafe but guess what the only is he left in a gay community but he's left on the outside of a gay community which is still unsafe but he's also left there dressed like what a hooker in his eyes <laughs> wow <laughs> wow honestly man you know when you sit there and you think to yourself either one you're one head of a big freaking hypocrite or the storyline is just, oh, the storyline has just exposed itself. One of the two, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. He's so concerned about my safety, but at that moment, I'm just like in the gutter, just like on the side of the road, and he didn't even come get me. I mean, for me personally, if I was you, Holly, I think this, this, this would be that thing that tells you that maybe this man is not the man for you. You know what I mean? He doesn't tell you the truth about his finances, lies about that stuff, hides that stuff as a secret, but also on top of that, he then leaves you stranded in a place where he was allegedly so concerned about your safety. The thing that really bothers me the most though is that she doesn't actually question him about that. She doesn't even press him for that. I'm like, yo, why are you, why, why are you not interrogating him about him leaving you? You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you need to apply pressure on this guy. I feel like, to be honest with you, Holly's a bit too kind. She's a, she's a bit too kind, to be honest with you. In fact, she's way too kind. She allows this man just to do some ruckus. The moment that he even made a comment about the way she dresses, to be honest with you, boy. <laughs> There's a lot of women, if you said that to them, you would never see them again. Point blank, period. And I wouldn't blame them. Ah, oh, goodness. Maybe I should say to him, maybe I should find someone, but like, hey, just so you know, you dress like I wonder what reception that I get. <laughs> but anyway, we continue. I mean, was I, was I bullying him? Was I pushing him too much? I don't know how it escalated like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But don't blame yourself. Don't find an excuse for his behavior. You know what I mean? Don't do that. It's unacceptable. What he did is unacceptable regardless. At the end of the day, I can tell you this flat out. She did not push him too much. She was simply asking questions. 
rightly so. And to be honest with you, Hell Holly's she, she she's like a del delicate little butterfly. Like if she asks you a question, even if she's a little bit angry, it's not, she's not gonna scream at you. Do you know what I mean? Like she's just a sensitive soul. You know what I mean? So it's like. Trust me, he is in his own feelings because of his own shiz in his own head. That's all it is. Nothing to do with you. And then that's the problem. He's treating you based on how he feels about a past situation. Not based on how you, not based on his current. That's one of the worst things, treating someone like someone they're not. I hate them. I just had you leave just because like emotions just everywhere. Like I'm concerned about business. I'm concerned about Holly. I'm concerned about that she want to be with me. You see how everything that he says revolves around him. Not a single part of anything he says revolves around her. All about him. I'm concerned, I'm concerned, I'm concerned. I'm trying to calm myself down, but I'm just so overwhelmed. And I'm thinking to myself, what have you done, Wayne? <laughs> you know, the thing for me that's the biggest issue in this situation is that an apology should be the concern. I ain't saying he didn't apologize. I'm just saying that should be the only thing. Apologizing, reassuring, all that kind of stuff. Not all this bizarre, bizarre, BS about concern, this concern, that. And the crazy thing about him is that his issue with not telling Holly the truth is because Holly once by time told him that she doesn't want to be with someone that's not stable. Okay, fair enough if she said that, but what happened next? You then present yourself as someone that was stable, which she was at the time, right? But I'm pretty sure Holly understands the fundamentals of someone being stable one time, but then sometimes things can go south a little bit. A good woman will understand when things go south and she will stay by you. A, a woman that isn't good for you, then of course she won't stand by you. So the fact that you think Holly isn't a good woman is, 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 is more reason of why you shouldn't even be with her. Plain blank, period. Since I help, this is a really hard way to feel. I don't need help, I'm fine. That's not part of a partnership. No, I get over it myself, then. I don't want you to get over it yourself. I mean, listen, you can't be in a relationship and then not, not want your woman to look after you or help you or support you, do you see what I'm saying? I've been, there, I've been there for myself. For but I'm life. here for you. Why won't you just let me in and let me be part of your life? You're not part of my life. Just not part of my business, that's all. I don't want to be part of your business. I want to be your wife. Oh, boy, man. That line hit hard. I don't want to be a part of your business. I just want to be your wife. That, that, whew, that line was nice. That line was too clean. Oh, yeah, you so bad. But that line right there, you know, the, you know, you know them ones. That, that's a replay value line. You're not part of my life. Just not part of my business, that's all. I don't want to be part of your business. I want to be your wife. Man, I tell you what though, and Holly, Holly, Holly comes across like a good one still, you know what I mean? <laughs> but either way though, um, the matter of fact is, her saying that alone is her saying that, listen, I'm here for, for you no matter what. I want to be with you no matter what. Highs and lows, I'm here. That's what, that's what being a wife is all about, right? When you get married, it's all about being there for uh, each other, highs and lows, both husband and wife. You know what I mean? And the fact that they're not even married yet, she's already got that in her, in her mind. Oh boy, that's special. At the end of the day, it'd be a bit worrying if you was with someone that didn't want to be with you for your highs and your lows. That doesn't make any sense. That's why they say you're supposed to marry someone that is your best friend. Someone that's more than happy to be there for you, no matter, no matter the situation. And vice versa. God damn. With that being said, though, thank you so much for your time. Let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. As far as I'm concerned, I do feel like they have elements to make this relationship work, but Wayne needs to buck up his ideas. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, sub, and of course, peace.